Wah Guanin, you big bunch of bummerclarts, and welcome back to episode 6 of the Darnell Glenmore Pez 2019 career mode. Here you can see him on screen, and uh, well, we've, we've been kind of slacking off. We haven't been doing too well on the old goal front at the moment. 14 appearances and only 7 goals. Um, some people would say, well, you've scored 50% of the games you've been in. Well, I, I guess so, yes, but the Jamaican sensation needs more than that. Here we go, though, against Watford at home in the south of Wales. And uh, look at that, all the way to the near post, defender and keeper there, muscling out uh, the Jamaican sensation. But we do get a corner, so it's all about the delivery. We've got the height here, we can definitely do something. And oh my god, if number 37 for Watford wasn't there, that would have been absolutely banged at goal. But Cardiff keeping the ball well here, just outside the Watford area. Glenmore, and it deflects off the defender and goes out. And he is not happy. He is not happy indeed, and uh, neither is the manager. Darnell Glenmore leaves the field, and then look at this. Minutes after he leaves, 85 minutes, Cardiff City go ahead. Maybe maybe Glenmore was bringing some negative vibes to the, to the squad on that day, and some negative juju, but nonetheless, we get the win. This is what we're after. We want the win by hook or by crook. I mean, it's always good for Glenmore to score. That is the whole point of this series, but to see the team do well, as well is something interesting and I'm going to have to put up the difficulty once again because it is I'm adapting to this game a little easier than I thought I would so uh, there we go so 60-40 uh, in Watford's favour in terms of possession we had more shots on target uh, we would leave the field with a 6.5 rating uh, which was one of the highest on the day for the squad itself so not too bad there Burnley spanking Newcastle United 4-0 Chelsea absolutely bumming Huddersfield and Fulham beating Liverpool. Good God. So the top of the table looking a bit more familiar now. Chelsea, Tottenham, Man City. Yes. Everton and Cardiff City. Maybe not so much. Where the hell have they come from? But still, nonetheless, 65% trust from the manager. That's what we need. And now we go up against Liverpool ourselves. And despite being substituted, maybe because of tiredness in the last game, I don't quite know, we get in the starting lineup against Liverpool. That's what we want to see. So we're going to move some things around here. We want to really focus our uh, efforts on the heading. I want to get the heading trait very badly. So we're going to up our skill points here. And uh, yeah, there we go. So that is the starting lineup. Mane, Salah and Firmino. Wow. That is going to be a tough side to go up against. And uh, the defenders, I think Virgil van Dijk has actually left Liverpool in this career mode. He's not there. So, God knows where he's ended up. And look at this. One of the few stadiums that they've actually got in the game, Pez. It's one of the areas that they only fall down in, really, I think. Uh, obviously, we've got the update file so we can do the real names and real kits of the clubs. But I would love to see the real stadiums in Pez. I really, really would. And I think at that point... I think there might be a bit of a power shift in the old football simulator world. But here we go. Into the game. And Glenmore just trying to do bits to get away from the Liverpool players here. And oh, Jesus Christ. One of our one of our teammates taken down there. Lalana is the culprit. He clearly doesn't agree with that decision. Let's see it again here. I think, was it Bryson that was uh, doing it? I'm not quite sure. But Jesus Christ. No, it was Traore that got taken down. Good Lord. Absolutely battered. Now Liverpool making a fuss of themselves inside our area. We can't be having this. I don't want to come myself too deep because we want to launch a counter-attack but it does not matter Liverpool go 1-0 up through Roberto Firmino and uh, there we go the, the, the floodgates could be opening very shortly here folks oh god I mean we are going to struggle against the bigger teams it's as simple as that I mean that they're, they're phenomenal and Cardiff City is no offense it's Cardiff City even with the Jamaican sensation. But uh, we will do what we can here. Let's have another look at this goal. Uh, yeah, lovely, lovely bit of skill there. Just a couple of dummy stepovers from Salah. And then Firmino gets a very lucky uh, deflection from the underside of the bar. So, uh, wow. There we go. That, that, that would be it. Very disappointed indeed. Obviously, we thought we would be able to get a win. 93rd minute. And, uh, yeah, nothing would happen until then in the second half. And Firmino gets his second. He's the one that really put the dagger in us today. I think without Firmino, it probably could have ended up as a draw. Mignolet, giving the thumbs up to a fan. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't try and high-five him or something. I don't know, but there we go. Nonetheless, it's a 2-0 uh, loss. Very disappointed. Really bookending 
the game there. A goal at the start and a goal right at the death, really to rub it in. And uh, I'm loving these cutscenes. These cutscenes are brilliant. Well done, Pez. It's such a refreshing change. And that little background there of Liverpool actually looks like a real town. It doesn't look like some kind of pop-up book that FIFA have. <laughs> but still... Very interested in this game. Really, really enjoying it. I hope you are too. No big upsets there, really. Uh, Burning Crystal Palace drawing and uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers getting a win over Fulham. But we will take on Wolves next in our next match. Because it's next. I've said next too much. Never mind. Next topic. Anyway, here we go. We're in the starting lineup and uh, we need to start producing. We need to start producing. I don't care what it says about the manager's trust going up. I don't think we're going to have a place in this squad unless we start banging them in. So we need to start, and we need to start soon, folks. <sighs> Let's hope we can do it now. I love it. The groundsman just walking around the pitch. Brilliant. I love it. It's little things like that that amuse me. So here we go. Look at that overlapping run on 20 minutes now to Glenmore. Oh, we try and go back post. Keeper gets a hand to it, and it's deflected wide. So we pick up the ball. 30 minutes gone. A lovely little uh, layoff there. And the deflection, and that has got to be a foul for us, surely. There we are. Number 27 from Wolverhampton there just saying, right, just fucking behave yourself, mate. You can't be doing any of that. It's racist. That's basically what it is. That's, that's racism right there. I, I am, of course, joking. <laughs> I don't believe that anyone tackling someone from a different ethnicity on a football field is racism. It's just a joke. Half time, nil nil. We need to be doing better. 38% possession, really. But, you know, as I say when talking about my penis to my wife, it's not about the size of it. It's what you do with it that counts. And she's still disappointed. Never mind. Junior Hoylet gets the ball from Glenmore. It's whipped in. And, oh, my God, it goes underneath the keeper. 1-0 to Cardiff City against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Mendes Lang is the, is the culprit there. What's this? What are we seeing here? I love it. I absolutely love it. What a celebration. You can put that flag back in now. so that Otherwise, the grounds person's got to walk all the way around the field and put it back. You bastard. Look at this, though. The architect. That's why we can get nicknames in this game. You know, I want the name of the architect. The Architect Glenmore. That would be amazing. But there we go. End of the game and the end of today's video. Thank you very much for coming back and checking out the channel and the series, folks. I really do appreciate it. I've uh, left a day in between just to give you guys a little rest. We can't, we, we, you, can, you can have too much of a good thing. Like crystal meth, you can have too much of a good thing. So we'll do a little break every now and then. And let's have a little look at this. Team of the month. Drum roll, please. And come on. Don't leave me hanging. Yes, once again, the team of the month alongside Sergio Aguero. Folks, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've uh, enjoyed what I've done here. Recommend me to a friend. Get them watching as well. I've been the Gaming Womble. So long for now, folks.